All right. So the Army says they made an 11 million promotional deal with The Rock and the UFL, which whatever that is, which didn't lead to a single new recruit. But 38 recruits actually ended up delisting. The Army is seeking a refund of six million (laughs) dollars. Bro, it's not The Rock's fault. Nobody don't want to fight for this country, bro. It's not The Rock's fault, man. And why y'all trying to get money back? Ain't y'all be sending billions and trillions overseas and shit? Leave The Rock alone, man. You feel me? What? What? Let's see what the comments say. Can't persuade me to go to the military or to war for a country that don't give a fuck about me. Ain't them facts. Don't blame The Rock for poor numbers. Gen Z isn't built for the military. <laughs> no cap. How about let the millions of illegal immigrants they left, they let in fight for the right to become real U.S. citizens instead of letting them be project managers over all the construction sites? Whoa. Russell. Hey, Russell. You said something there, buddy. Y'all watered the country down and then wonder why the men ain't fighters no more. Now, that's facts, too, man, especially pushing, you know, all this weird stuff. Like, of course, and it's people like that in the Army, like, you feel me? Like, bro, he ain't lying. That's facts, man. Shout out to Fat Money. Army, we want our money back. The Rock, it doesn't matter. (laughs) Hey. Niggas fighting wars in their hood. That's real, too. They don't kill the opposite. They just kill kill each other. But, yeah, man, let me know what y'all think about that shit, man. That shit crazy. The Rock.